After a victory over Moline last week, Bennett Academy football is looking to improve to 3-0 as they travel to the south side for a meeting with De La Salle. Last season, the Red Wings got the best of the Meteors in a close 20-12 game. Bennett's Michael Conway kicked things off for the evening. Jeremiah Coleman is there to receive it for the Meteors. He cuts back towards the middle of the field where he's met by Aiden Mersinger and he jars the ball loose and Aiden Van Salmeren jumps on it for the Red Wings. Bennett takes over with a short field on the opening play. Moments later, the Red Wings are working on the goal line and they hand it off to the senior Martin Radgowski for the first score of the evening. Bennett is up 7-0 just over a minute into action. After a 3 and out for the Meteors, the punt team is on the field. Nick Simmental boots it towards the sideline where Radgowski plays it off the bounce. He has some space towards the middle of the field and picks up a few big blocks from some fellow Red Wings and he turns on the Jets. He speeds past the De La Salle defense and extends the Bennett lead to 14-0 with 9.30 left in the first quarter. Later in the quarter, the Red Wings are back operating in Meteor territory. They call in Redgowski's number again and he puts the ball in the end zone for the third time. This one stretches the Bennett lead to 21-0 with less than five minutes to play in the first. Now with a minute left in the quarter, the Red Wings have possession near midfield. Ryan Kubaki throws a screen pass to Luke Doyle and he has got a lot of green in front of him. He bursts through the middle of the field and goes untouched into the end zone for six. The fourth touchdown of the game has been at up 28-0 as the first quarter ends. On to the second quarter, the Bennett offense is back near the 50-yard line. Kubaki throws another screen pass, but this time it's James Collins on the receiving end. A big block from Luca Diomidi clears the way, and then a few shifty moves from Collins leads to another Red Wing touchdown. That one gives Bennett a 35-0 lead with 10 minutes left in the half. Halfway through the second quarter, De La Salle is looking for a spark. Philip Seltzer drops back to pass, but Declan Walsh bursts past the pass protection and brings him down hard. The sack leads to yet another failed offensive drive for the Meteors. It's 35-0 Bennett at halftime. Seltzer kicks off the second half of the game, and Luke Doyle is back to return for the Red Wings. He penetrates through the middle of the field, sheds away a would-be tackler, and then he's off to the races. Doyle strolls into the end zone for the second time in the evening, extending the Bennett advantage to 42 nothing. The Red Wings hold on to that final score as they improve to 3-0 on the young season. They'll head back home for a matchup against St. Viator next Friday night. It was pretty exciting. Uh, we told ourselves that we were setting the standard all week. Uh, we just had to go out there and play our game. The uh, only way we could lose tonight was beating ourselves, and we went out there and executed. Um, captains did well all week, making sure we were focused and make sure we took nothing for granted, and we came out here, we did our thing. I think our team bond and our grit that we have together um, from starting last December when we were waking up at 5 a.m. four days a week working out with each other and then leading up till now. Um, I think we all just love being, love being around each other and we all love to go to war for each other, um, do anything for any kid on this team. And I think our bond and not wanting to let any, any of ourselves down is what we want to do. You know, I thought we ran the ball really well. I'm proud of our running back, quarterback. You know, everyone just did their job blocking-wise, receivers on the perimeter and everything. Overall, just a really good game. Good to, got, to get all the guys in and stuff like that. So overall, really good game. Pretty much, I mean, I'm confident with everything. You know, we looked good. You know, definitely like the running, but you know, there's always things to work on, always things to get better with, you know, going into Vider next week, so we'll be ready.